Oh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> no, I'm happy to do an interview. I don't, you know us, we don't do them too often, but once in a while we'll sit down and uh, we'll give an interview. <laughs> That's what keeps us, you know, that's what keeps us going. The public needs to know, right? <laughs> All the beginnings. Um, it's probably the same old story, just like most of the bands, you know. Uh, we had a garage band. We met in high school, and we just started coming together, you know. Um, they had the talent, and... I might have just had the voice. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It, it took a lot of work, you know. We were just trying to harmonize and trying to come together. And uh, we eventually made something happen. I don't know what it was, but something happened. Well, I think the genre of our music, you know, is mostly rock and roll. Um, we had did, you know, we had done a few disco, heavy moving, uh, you know, hits and stuff like that, but our, ours is mostly rock. Well, you know, our influences can go across, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to speak for everybody here, um, but it could be from Led Zeppelin, The Queen, to The Stones, to Bob Dylan, you know, it just, it can even be the Grateful Dead, it just goes across the board, just whatever we heard when we were younger, you know, anything could have influenced us, and it just, we kind of evolved and adapted to our own style. Well, I think we, yeah, I think we started to really start to be cohesive and really harmonize uh, around 92 is when it, you know, yeah, that's when we started playing uh, more than just, you know, birthday parties or small events. Um, we started out with a Starlight Amphitheater and, um, and here we are today, you know, we've, we've played Madison Square Garden three times, so it's a, it's a really, it's a really great feeling. Well, I, I think it is different. I mean, at Madison Square Garden, obviously, you're playing for a lot more people, but I don't feel any different in regards to feeling like I have to perform better, I try to, I try to put out just as much as I would at, say, the Starlight that has less, less seating or less standing room uh, than Madison Square Garden. You have to give, you know, 110% or even more all the time, you know, or um, <laughs> people will forget you if you don't keep tossing these out, you know, tossing the hits out. Well, we all have, the songs, we all have a hand in them. Um, you know, we all have to approve them before they go on to the albums, before they're put on it, you know. Um, we made sure that was a hard and fast rule that uh, we had to make sure we all agree on them. There was one person that didn't agree, it didn't make it on the album. We might have We might have played it in one of the off events, but... Uh, the ones that went on the album had to be pretty special. No, we all get credit for... No, we split everything four ways because uh, that's just the way it should be. So there's no hard feelings. Uh, it doesn't matter... Um, it doesn't matter who wrote the song. It's, it's all divided equally. No, n none of us works... Harder than anybody else. It's just, I don't care if I'm the lead singer. Or, you know, Mark's on drums and, and Billy's on bass. It's just, we're all doing our own thing. And together, we make something happen. And something happened, obviously, 
uh, people, you know, has continued to like uh, over all these years. Um, well, <laughs> the reverse, the, the rehearsals can be, uh, <laughs> they can be kind of manic sometimes, you know, we, um, if we have deadlines and stuff, we're really under pressure and stuff to get an album put out, and, um, and it's even difficult, you know, when we come off tour, and we've had several of them. And even even if we're trying to take time for ourselves and we separate, we're still constantly thinking about the music and, and what's going to be next. And and the rehearsal time is kind of like downtime, but yet we're working too because we're just coming off of a tour. And uh, we have to put out another album. So uh, we're constantly <laughs> banging heads about different subjects and we're trying not to repeat ourselves. We want to have something new each time we put something out. Well, yeah, you do get in a rut sometimes. Absolutely. Uh, the direction. I, I think we're just going to stick with what we're doing, keep putting out new things, and as long as people still show up to our concerts and still buy our albums... We couldn't ask for anything better. And, uh, and I want to take it upon myself. We want to thank all our fans for making this possible. Uh, this has been a dream come true. We never thought that we would make it this far. And we just, we love you guys so much. And, it's not about us. It's about you guys and you guys rocking out to us. And, you know, you guys are just fantastic and we love you so much. <laughs> oh, we do. We do mean it. You know, the fans is what this is all about. It's what it's all about. Well, thank you. No, thank you. It, it was really nice talking to you and I'm glad we finally got to sit down and chat, and I wanted to give you that interview, so, uh, just keep on keeping you, and just stay real. <laughs>